hello and welcome to the new video so in this video we have these two distinct duct fittings these are the T's one is this one and the other is this one so if it see about this one in ashray it is this one so this number is SR 510 T and if it is this one if it's this one so this one is kind of a Y so it is smooth radius Y so they all have they both have something in common that so they have the inlet size the outlet size and the branch size so here is the inlet that is the outlet that is the branch and now this becomes the inlet to this Y and we have this one as outlet and this one as the branch so the height of this is going to be common but the thing is that here the one of the I have made this family and this video is about the tutorial of this two families this one single family actually so I can turn both into one another so like you see this one becomes radial and likewise I can switch off this radial and it becomes the other kind of T so we quickly go to the how to make this so just watch till the end it's going to be very advanced and very quick kind of uh, family creation tutorial so let's go to the tutorial so let's say I just make a duct here let's say 600 by 300 and that's my duct and now I'm going to make the family create the family right from the beginning so file new family I'm just going to choose English and also again I have I'll go to duct family so this is my duct T template metric duct T template so here is the setup so there are some original uh, setup in this template so I'll just quickly go and make some parameters like inlet uh, width all right and it's going to be instance HVAC and duct size and now I can use this to duplicate and make other ones so I'll call this outlet width for example and now again I duplicate and I call it like branch width branch width and now again also I need one for the height of this fitting because the overall height is going to be same so I'll just call it let's say duct height it's okay I'll just arrange them quickly and now I can just give them some values like this is 600 the outlet of it's going to be let's say 250 the branch is going to be let's say 400 and duct height is going to be say 300 all right so now I just need to quickly do some setting here so here is my this is my going to be inlet that is where going to be my outlet and this is going to buy my my branch so the thing is that I need to set up the length of these so here so there is an additional parameter here which I might not need so this is length 3 this is length 1 so here I have length 1 and this is one is length 3 all right so what I'm going to do is that um, I might I don't need this so I, I can delete these parameters and I can delete this parameter and also these two parameters I just don't want to put them in that di dimensions I'll just put them in other and here also I'll just put them in other and now I just need to give the I make I, I have to make use of this shoulder parameter so let's say its value is uh, 100 all right and now what I need to do is to calculate the length 1 and length 3 based on the so here I have this uh, inlet and here is outlet so as you can see the this length here uh, is this one which is length 1 it is dependent on the branch thickness branch width right branch width and the shoulder so what I'm going to do here is here I'm just going to write uh, half of branch width plus 
plus shoulder and likewise here I'm going to write half of uh, inlet width plus shoulder all right so these two values are now uh, calculated so now I have to do what what I have to do is that if you go here families and you you can find profiles so there is a rectangular duct so just select the rectangular duct and you can rename it and you can say inlet and then duplicate and call it outlet and then again duplicate this and call it branch and now come inside each one of them one by one so width is going to be my inlet width and height is going to be my duct height and now for the outlet it's going to be width outlet width outlet width and the height is going to be again duct height and for the branch same in uh, branch width and height is going to be duct height so this much setup is complete now what I'm going to do is start making the family so I have to go to sweep and I have to pick the path and here in the profiles just select the inlet duct because this one is the inlet side and that's it so now again create and sweep and you just pick the path this one and in the profile you just have to select the outlet right hit ok so right now this is not as per this so this and this outlet they have these side aligned so we'll do that in a minute so let's do it right now so I'm just going to call make a new parameter called offset outlet or just out instance it has to be length parameter I'll just put them also it is in other and the simple formula is 0 0.5 times inlet width minus outlet width outlet width and here what I have calculated is the difference between the width of inlet and outlet and half of that difference so what I'm going to do is that select this sweep and here is the horizontal profile offset I'm just going to map it with my this newly created parameter which is offset out and you can see that it's now aligned with this so next is my branch so for the branch I'm going to create uh, so what I'm going to do I have to make use of uh, this line model line and just make sure that it is turned off this visibility should be turned off and now what I'm going to do is that I have to choose this center uh, ends arc so I'll just draw from here and draw an arc like that like this select the arc now click this center mark visible so once you have this center mark visible use align al align and with this reference plane just let's mark the center align the center and with this reference plane align this center hit ok and now select it again and you can turn it turn it off now and one more thing which I need to do is uh, I have to annotate it radial okay so just let me go to okay here and now you can just choose this to be shoulder like so all right okay so now the next thing that I'm going to do is, so now this shoulder is completely parametric and everything so let's say I change the value to let's say 150 so it changes you see everything is f working fine so next thing is now I have to make my um, my branch so the thing is that by default I'll make the branch as a smooth radius like this and then I'll make it convertible to this kind so I'm going to do this so I'll go create sweep and pick path and I have to pick this arc which I just created alright and now before I just 
click OK I'll just go back here and I'll note what is the branch width so my branch width is 400 alright so just hit OK and just come here and select the branch like this and you see that right now this is not going to work so what I'm going to do I will just give the horizontal profile outset which is half of my branch width so I'll just right now put this manually and later on I'll just convert it to uh, make it like map it with the formula so here you go so th this is my branch right okay <coughs> I'm just going to increase my outlet width for example let's say I'll make it 300 like this and uh, also uh, I have to make the pr new parameter of let's say branch offset or offset branch offset branch instance and I'm going to put it in other so this is going to be simply half of branch width and now I, c I have to map it with my this uh, this horizontal offset with the calculated parameter which is offset branch hit ok so now what you have to do is that you have to join these geometries all of these geometries so join them one by one like this with this and this with this all right and you can increase the outlet fit a little bit more let's say I'll make it 400 okay so it becomes like this so you can also see this in 3d I just turn off the dimensions in this 3d view it go to the shaded uh, shaded now come back here now the thing is that I have to make this um, like um, convertible to this kind to this kind so what I'm going to do is I'll just quickly make a parameter called let's say branch radial or radial branch radial branch and it has to be instance and I'll it has to be a yes no parameter and I'm going to group under construction or the way it's going to be constructed so this is radial branch now I need to create one more e boolean parameter which is like yes no parameter uh, let's say I call it branch straight all right and it has to be instance and also a yes no and I'll group it in an other so I group this in other and here in the formula I have to just give not of radial branch so not means if this is on this will be off and if this is off this will turn on so that's what the not function does so now I have this not and here is I have my trajectory segmentation so and I can map it with with um, on of parameter so I have to map it with my branch straight so if the branch state is turned on which will be turned on if the radial branch is turned off so so right now since radial branch is turned on so <coughs> there is no segmentation here so what I'm going to do is just I will turn it off and you see this is radial so also I'll give the angle here just 90 degree instead of 360 <coughs> and now it's um, you see it's convertible so here is my radial and that is my um, the other one so these two are just done like so this is one and the other one so now the next thing is I have to put the I have to give the reference uh, the the duct connectors so I'll just quickly go to my 3d view and I'll make the duct connectors duct connector and just come here and select fitting select this side select this face and select this face and now quickly map the parameters like so and here just map it with uh, duct height and this one is inlet width this is going to be the inlet width so here is inlet width and then this is branch so height is going to be duct height and width is going to be branch width and the next one is here 
outlet so here is going to be uh, height is going to be duct height and width is going to be the outlet width here is my outlet width so now the next thing which is very important to do is that you should connect this with uh, uh, link this connector with this so you just make sure they are linked together and here since the configuration of air is that in this whatever T or Y the air is taking the turn 90 degrees so just also give this 90 degree in this one so now this is ready no need to do any change here because it's duct fittings and already it's a T so what I'm going to do is going to load it into my project so what I'm going to do that this by default I will turn this off all right and I'm just going to load it into my project so here it is loaded so I will just press escape and this family uh, whatever family one is loaded so I'm just going to select my duct and go to edit type and select my T which I just created and loaded as family one as my preferred T junction right it should be T not the tab and here is the family which I loaded so now what I so this one is 600 by 300 all right now I'm just going to make another duct here let's say 400 by 300 400 by 300 and I just go to connect like this and here it is so again I can go to my 3d view here let's say this one this is the T now the thing is uh, the, this is my outlet side this is my inlet side so the outlet I can change to let's say 500 all right and here is my this uh, branch this one is outlet so the inlet is 600 by 300 the outlet is 500 by 300 and the branch is uh, 400 by 300 so now let me try doing to convert to the uh, radial so you see it just did it all right so that's it it's very simple and it's very you know, useful I hope you find it very useful so one single family can be convertible to the other shape with just click of a button you can change the sizes and you have these two family in one family all right you can change the width uh, here you can change so I hope you find it useful and if you like it please share it please and like it and subscribe to the channel thanks have a nice time